Terminator Resistance is a surprise little game that you may have only just caught wind of. When it was initially announced just a few short months ago, it was pretty quickly written off because it was from the people that brought us the last Rambo game, which was a pretty rough and not very fun on-rail shooter with a seemingly low budget. Yet Terminator Resistance is here and it's actually kind of worth talking about? Now, sure. Critic reviews haven't been so hot at all, and to be honest, after playing some of it, you can understand some of the complaints. But despite all that working against it, it looks like it's selling at least fairly decently on Steam, and it currently has almost 700 reviews on the Steam page and is listed as very positive, which is quite a thing for a game on Steam to have. So why are Terminator fans seemingly loving the new game? Well, let's just take a very quick look. Now at first glance, it seems like Terminator Resistance succeeds because it gives fans exactly what they want, a Terminator game, after Judgment Day, focusing on the war with the machines. Now we've gotten this in the past to various degrees of success, but there have been a lot of misses. And not only that, there have also been a lot of misses with the movies. And yet here we are with a game that kind of celebrates the franchise. You're a lost resistance member working his way through a post-apocalyptic greater Los Angeles, California in the future. You're Jacob Rivers. It's 2028 and you're stranded in Pasadena at the start and you quickly get grouped up with some survivors and eventually fall in with a new unit and start shooting stuff. You end up hunting down and meeting up with a scientist who figures out how to hack Skynet and reprogram their units to fight on your side. Does that sound familiar? This is all happening while Skynet is starting to make time displacement technology, AKA they're figuring out how to time travel and do all of that dastardly Skynet stuff. Now, mild, mild spoilers, but you eventually end up falling in with John Connor himself and attack a major Skynet hub where their time travel technology is being held like in minutes leading right up to the movies and, and where the Terminators get sent. It's surprisingly cool. Like it adds in stuff with this guy, Jacob Rivers, but it doesn't really do anything crazy ridiculous or like super new or weird to mess with the existing Terminator lore or canon. If, if you can even call it the lore or the canon anymore since it's already kind of a mess. So like it doesn't really rock the boat, but it does kind of slot in as a nice little bit of extra stuff, a little extraness. Kind of serves similar to the Terminator Salvation comics. Yes, those were a thing and they, they weren't too bad. Terminator Resistance here serves as a nice addition that just kind of complements and hangs out rather than disrupts, you know? The setting is perfect. Uh, the game has a lot of nighttime scenes. T-800s are out and about killing everything and hunter killers are flying through the sky just like they did in those iconic movie shots. Uh, there are humans hiding out in bombed out basements that look very much like the places Kyle Reese walked through in the first movie. A T-800 infiltrator in the opening hour intro is, is straight up dressed up like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like little bits of dialogue Dialogue here and there are reworked callbacks to the first two movies. Stuff like this, this is like genuine Terminator charm. It makes up for a game that's just okay. You know, like the shooting works, it's fine. It doesn't feel great. There's not much kick to it or recoil or just genuinely satisfying feedback. The stealth and creeping around the world can be a bit lame when you're facing off against some of the less interesting enemies that aren't cool Terminators. Voice acting is all over the place. Some of the moment to moment gameplay is actually just a bit forgettable. Especially in the early hours, the game can just feel like a little tedious and boring thanks to, like I said, the less cool enemies. And just overall, the game isn't overly involved or challenging, you know, parts feel kind of craptastic to be honest. It's not the greatest looking thing, and frankly, you can understand where some of the negative reviews are coming from. It's not like the best shooter by any means. You know, it certainly ain't game of the year material, but not every game has to be. I, I think it has some stuff that might make up for it. You know, it's rough, but there's some tense moments. There's a lot of dialogue and choices to chew through. There's a trade and crafting system and a skill tree that are traditional, but satisfying and honestly, it's just a straightforward, old school, single player adventure game, no bullshit, and a straight up Terminator story. Sometimes you just want a regular old video game. Sometimes, if you're a very specific fan, you just want a regular old competent Terminator game. Guns are mostly authentic. You know, the vibe is there. The Terminators themselves are believably threatening, at least in cutscenes and a few good moments at least. Uh, the story, like I said, is serviceable and probably works for Terminator fans, at least somewhat. And I, I think it's just nice to have a solid Terminator thing after so many uh, mediocre games and other stuff. I think this is where Resistance 
Christmas at least mostly succeeds, and people are starting to realize. I can nitpick a few lore things, but ultimately, it's a decent ride. The most recent movie, Terminator Dark Fate, was kind of divisive. Some people think it's pretty great, and some people think it's very bad. I've also met a lot of people like me who thought it was, you know, just some really good fun action, but I, I just didn't really like what it did with the lore. Here in Terminator Resistance, we get some of that old lore, some of that war with the machine stuff we want. Wherever you fall with Resistance, you do really get the old school Terminator stuff. I didn't even hate Terminator Salvation as much as everyone else, but it just didn't quite give you the future vibe you expected from seeing those like jump forward scenes in Terminator 1 and 2. Terminator Salvation still just felt kind of different from that. Resistance doesn't. Resistance feels ripped out of those scenes from Terminator 1 and 2. I just think it's fairly decent Terminator fan service, more than anything else we got right now, and, and that's why some people think it's underrated. So that's Terminator Resistance. Like, what do you think? Have you played it? Have you thought about it? Have you watched it on Twitch? Anything? What do you think? Are you a diehard, hardcore Terminator fan? What do you think about this? There's definitely things you can nitpick, but did you have a nice time with it? There's a lot of stuff we can talk about with Terminator Resistance, so let us know down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe put the game on your radar or you just had a good time, clicking the like button is the best way you can help us out. We would really appreciate that. And if you're new, maybe consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because we put out videos every single day. But either way, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.